tonight obviously it's finished three one, but I, I actually watched. I thought there were some real positives to take from the game tonight. I felt it was a really good game up to about seventy minutes. I felt that their goal was was a little bit of an error for us from our shape. We accept responsibility for that, but I felt during that process, that first forty five minutes especially, it was very even. Um, and I thought at half time a draw was fair. I think if anybody in the second half was really pushing it was us. I'm furious with our setup from a wide free kick. Um, and I, I said to the boys in there, I'm not going to personally come for anybody, you know, that's not my style in any way, shape or form. But we look at some of these games consistently over the last two or three years and you'll know that more than anybody. We score a lot of goals. But at this moment in time, I feel like a 1-0 or 1-1, we're, we're, we're sort of like a huff and a puff in some ways and we don't numerically overload the opposition in the final third of the football pitch. And then when we do, we do it so late that we get done on the counter-attack and then you become so open and fragile. Um, listen, right now we're, we're, we're hurting, as you'd imagine. I, I don't think any anything that I say to you makes it easier for the players, me or the fans. Um, but I think what the consistency is about the football club in the last three or four years, we score goals. We score goals. That's set plays. That's from wide areas, and, and, and this is not just the, the strikers, this is collective. Um, and, this is, and this is something that we've been trying to rectify throughout the course of the season. We thought we had it within the building, we've got to make sure that we work hard to find that. And whether that be a full-back being offensive and getting around the back post, or whether we wide players delivering at the right time, midfield players landing on the ball in the final third, or strikers staying central in the penalty box to get the tap-ins. That's a, that's a, a whole holistic element of how you score goals, of, goals, score goals and win games of footy. If you don't do that, you're always going to be hanging on and you're always going to be suspect against, again, they're top of the league. I don't think you would have come down from half State and looked at that football pitch. I don't think you would have seen the golf. No, and I think speaking to the opposition manager, he knew that coming into the game that Oxford is such a threat, especially at home, albeit the league position, that they know that it's a tough game coming into it. You think it's more of a, a confidence issue with yes. the players going over the pitch. I mean, you can work as much as you want, but when it goes on to the onto the pitch, you have to have that confidence in yourself, don't you? And it's hard I, when you're not winning. Yeah, I agree. Uh, the fragility sometimes in, 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 our, in our emotion of the game, you can see it, it's evident. I think we do so well and we're, we're on the front foot and we're winning second balls and we're getting the ball in wide areas and then we're coming back out and we're restarting and they get the shape and then all of a sudden it's hard to break down in the second phase. Is that confidence? Can you have a go with the strikers? No. If the ball's not going in there, but they're going to come out of the box and ask for the second phase. I think it's that it's that ability to work on things, to be better at it, and then all of a sudden when you when you then go down, there's questions in you. Where are the leaders? Where then does that one person what wait? Or we've got two, three goals, and I keep going. You know more than anybody that we we could go one down, we back ourselves to score two, three, sometimes four from that position. We'd always in the first 25 minutes be so aggressive that the opposition under so much pressure that the fatigue element of the opposition in the final 20 minutes, you know, they'd be so vulnerable with the players you're bringing on to affect that. Right now, we don't have that killing edge and that killing sort of moment that we think that for a set play or an open play, and we have to find it. This is what we've got. That there's not, you can't change that. We've got to make. And by the way, we have good players. It's not like the bad players. It's not like we don't have that in the football club. Sam Boulder coming back fit, Marcus Brown coming back fit. Yannick still trying to find his feet. He's been out for so long. Josh Murphy's the same. You sort of the players that you sort of hang your hat on, you're almost going, yeah, they're still in that transition of being fully fit. Um, and Sam's in that same boat as well. I don't think in any stage today it was a mismatch. Far from that. And it's a, it's a, it's a result that will hurt us because of the consequences of our previous results. Not because of just today's result. I think if you would have got beaten, you would have had decent results previously. Go well played, one that night, move on to the next. But because of the back end of a number of bad results, it hurts you so much more.